Hi all, welcome back. In this video, we will see the usage of uh, invoke command that is present in uh, Cypress. Okay, so it's very uh, useful command. So this command we uh, used uh, to invoke uh, uh, JavaScript methods uh, uh, mainly. Okay, how we can invoke JavaScript methods? Uh, we will see here. Okay, so let's navigate to the code. Uh, okay, so I'm going to create a separate spec file uh, for this usage. So what I'm going to name is invoke.cy.js okay, and then uh, describe invoke usage. Okay, and uh, yeah. So I'm going to uh, do a, a multiple scenarios here. So in the first scenario, I'm going to write a validate um, a, a JavaScript function. Okay. Yeah. So in this, um, um, let's assume that uh, we are having um, a, a JavaScript function called sum. Okay and um, which takes um, uh, two arguments value one and um, value two okay and in turn which returns value one plus value two okay so this java function will return a sum of uh, these two values okay whatever that um, we are passing okay so to invoke this function um, uh, we need to uh, create a, a test case okay so validate um, sum okay so to validate the sum um, we need to invoke this function value to here okay so what i'm going to do is uh, cy dot wrap i'm wrapping this uh, sum function okay and then i can invoke uh, that function okay the function name is uh, sum here and uh, which accepts uh, two arguments say suppose 10 and 20 so i am invoking that function so what sh what it should do is uh, it should uh, the value should be equal to 30 okay so whenever i pass uh, 10 and 20 the value should be equal to 30 so this is the way uh, we invoke this uh, sum function okay so when we wrap this function uh, here so it, it it will return the sum and we are passing the same sum value here and uh, as it accept two parameters so we need to pass those two parameters here okay so and um, we need to uh, assert that with the uh, result value okay so let's see uh, how it uh, uh, executes and there uh, I'm using uh, invoke uh, cy.js if you see here yeah this function got executed and um, uh, the asset also get passed here okay so the expected value is uh, 30 so in this way you can uh, invoke the function uh, uh, in general but let, let's see uh, how we can um, invoke this function in uh, uh, general uh, our web page also okay so for that i am going to create another uh, describe their um, validate web elements okay and then so i'm going to create before each here okay life cycle hook in this i'm going to log into our web page where i am using uh, my custom command that i have uh, created uh, in before videos uh, okay after that uh, let's create a test case okay so here um, i'm going to validate logo validate logo uh, logo png okay so 
after you navigate here if you see there is a, a logo here okay so i'm going to validate this logo i'm going to get uh, uh, this uh, banner uh, image and then i will see whether uh, this banner image contains uh, uh, this uh, uh, png or not okay so to get that one what i am going to um, do is um, i am going to get uh, this uh, class after login so so let's login after after login um cy dot get that banner and then that banner is um, uh, having a children so i'm going to get this children okay and that children what i'm going to do is i am invoking a, a function an attribute src okay so and on each attribute you can invoke a, a, a function so this attribute is src uh, uh, there are multiple attributes say alt and src so when i invoke an attribute fun attribute uh, uh, src it will um, uh, give a value of on that src okay so what i'm going to do is invoke attribute and which attribute i am invoking a function in src okay and then when i invoke um, attribute on src it should contain it should contain that um, a png file so the png file is a uh, orange hrm iphone logo okay so i'm going to copy orange hrm dot logo dot png okay so in this way we can invoke this one so let's see whether how it is validating it okay see uh, and the first uh, this is a different that we have uh, executed before this is the case after login so we are invoking a function attribute uh, uh, attr function and src so which returns uh, this png which includes uh, this one so the same function we can uh, uh, return in another way also so the same uh, uh, we can we can test the same test uh, same scenario in another way also where um, you can get uh, this children up to the children after that in the should command there we are having a have attr attribute so which attribute we are looking for src and the value will be so we need to now uh, before uh, in should we can con uh, provide the contains now we cannot provide contains uh, here because we need to uh, we are already uh, verifying for attribute src here so in this case we, we need to provide um, the exact value here so which is this one the total value okay so we need to provide the total value here then only it will pass you cannot pass contains something you cannot verify for contains here so if i save the file and then uh, navigate to test runner so if you see here both assertions are passed the first assertion is on um, a function and the second assertion is uh, directly uh, looking for attribute src here so it is uh, the value is matching here so in this way you can uh, uh, invoke the functions and um, uh, attributes uh, uh, attributes uh, and validate the data thank you